Honourable Member for Calgary Southeast. As a lifelong Albertan son, husband and father, the environment has always been important to me, and more so since I became a father. So I do want to applaud the government for executing the decision on your climate change strategy. And I also appreciate that it generally follows the progressive Conservative plan outside the carbon tax on all individuals. To the Minister of Transportation, the broad-based personal carbon tax will apply to every Albertan. In order to help reduce individual carbon footprints, will you commit the revenue from that tax to build and support better public transportation like the southeast legs of the LRT for Calgary and Edmonton? Minister of Infrastructure. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and, and uh, we're going to be looking as a government at a broad range of, uh, of um, applications uh, for revenue, uh, all of which are focused on improving the, uh, the, the situation relative to climate change. I would think the transit might fall in that category, but no decisions have been made, and so I'm unable to supply an answer to the member at this time. Supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, to the Minister of Environment, uh, Minister, Minister, given the fact that you've announced a goal of 30% renewable green electricity generation by 2020, and given the fact that renewable energy investors will only invest in Alberta if there is a power purchase agreement in place with the government, and given the fact that you've already shown the government's hand in terms of your broader goals, Minister, how can you assure Albertans will now get a fair power purchase agreement with these companies? Honourable Minister. Speaker, and thank you to the honourable member for the question. Uh, it was our intention, as reported in the Climate Change Panel, uh, recommendations that we accepted to phase out harmful coal, coal emissions by 2030 and replace those, uh, uh, that, uh, uh, that electricity generation with renewable power and natural gas. Our plan will create a diversified renewable electricity sector. It will do so using market mechanisms, uh, and the Alberta uh, Electricity System Operator and AUC will play key roles in maintaining stability, Mr. Speaker. To the same minister, given the fact that I've said our environment is one of the most important legacies I, we will leave our future generations, and given the fact that what you say and do as a government has a definite impact on every Albertan, can you exactly articulate what you will be saying to the world at the Climate Change Summit about Alberta, our industry leaders, and our already world-leading track record on environmental regulations? Honourable Minister of the Environment. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for the opportunity to practice my talking points before I, uh, I get out to uh, the UN uh, summit. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we are going to be talking about how Albertans are not followers. It is time for Alberta to lead on climate change and energy development, Mr. Speaker. We will do so by uh, uh, introducing a large number of renewables into our electricity system. We will do so by pricing carbon appropriately. We will do so by diversifying the economy and building on the back of our energy sector so that this province may have a conversation with our trading partners about energy infrastructure on its own merits, Mr. Speaker.